Hi, I'm Michael Stebbins with Market Motive, and in this class I'm going to teach you how to know if you're a victim of click fraud. You'll learn how to differentiate poorly performing ads from ads that are experiencing click fraud, and how to set up your campaigns to avoid it altogether. And towards the end of the class, I'll show you how to get a refund from the search engines once you've determined that click fraud has really occurred. Now the definition of click fraud is any event that occurs when a person or programmed script triggers a pay-per-click charge for you, the advertiser, without any intent to view your website. Now determining visitor intent can be tricky, but with the right web analytics tools, you'll learn how to do it in this class. There's another statistic out there that says that up to 40% of your pay-per-click advertising budget could be related to click fraud. And while that may be true, that number doesn't mean a whole lot to me because each campaign and budget is different. I think the real goal is to use the techniques that we teach in this class to detect the click fraud and get it out of your campaigns in the first place. Now there are two basic forms of click fraud that occur on a regular basis and you just need to follow the money to understand it. Now competitor click fraud tends to occur when a competitor is bidding for the same keyword that you are and they cause your ad to be clicked either by humans or by an automated script enough to exhaust your budget and remove your ad from the search engine results pages now competitor click fraud is fairly rare but when it does occur it tends to occur in the higher priced keywords typically I've seen it occur with keywords that are sixteen to twenty dollars sometimes even in the mid to high twenties it's very rare in the lower costs although I've seen it in the three to five dollar range for keywords that were extremely competitive what's much more common is publisher click fraud now publisher click fraud occurs when a site owner who serves up pay-per-click ads on behalf of Google or on behalf of MSN or Yahoo shares a little bit of the revenue that you pay into those search engines every time somebody clicks on the ad on their site. So really it benefits the publisher to have that ad clicked as many times as possible and the greedy ones will go so far as to hiring a human click farm whether it's in the United States or in a third world country to click on each ad many times or they'll even write a script or some type of program that it tries to behave as a human click on the ads and visit your site and this is very common we see it all the time uh, because it's motivated by greed by a publisher and there's a lot of publishers so statistically there's got to be a few who are doing this and we've seen the proof of that 